Hi, Sojourn here with another Path of Excel video, and today I wanted to make a review of 3.17. Cirrus is dead. Sentinel is 3.18. Figured now was a good time to just talk a little bit about 3.17 and how I felt the league went. I think it was the best league to date. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone because I feel like expansions usually are. My last favorite uh, like time to play Path of Exile before this was Metamorph. And I feel like just every expansion, they always knock it out of the park. There's a big difference in, in what I end up liking. So for example, Scourge, I really liked the way we interacted with the mechanic, but not much else. I didn't really like that many builds in the meta, and I didn't think the patch itself was particularly good. It was just more the way we interact with it, right? Delirium and Scourge, they're both like fun ways to interact with the mechanic. Arch Nemesis is a bit different. Arch Nemesis, it is a lot more about the patch itself uh, and the builds that we're playing and the Atlas and things like that. Um, for a lot of people, the League mechanic is very unpopular. A lot of people don't like it. They don't like the UI. I really like it. I think it's the perfect kind of patch or League to accompany an expansion because I don't think it necessarily needs to have a lot of unique things or needs to be very advanced or comprehensive and it just needs to be something that's on the sidelines because honestly you barely even need a league at all uh, for an expansion so i think it was really good for that i don't think it should go core it's not something i would like to see in the future but as an expansion league i think it was perfect just right like i said i don't really want it to be something like betrayal um or expedition or something that large um, but like, I would now love to see Sentinel being something that adds something unique to the game. A good example of what I would like to see in that way. And, and like, what really adds something unique would be Heist, right? That had a lot of unique rewards. I think stuff like that is really cool. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll find that for next thing. So for Arch Nemesis, I really liked the amount of different recipes you could do. And it gave you a lot of autonomy. No, agency. Gave you a lot of agency on Solo Self on what you wanted to go for. You had a clear grind for if you wanted to grind out your Exalted Orbs, if you wanted to grind out Scarabs, if you wanted to grind out um, Uniques. Um, I was honestly quite surprised that I didn't get a single Tier 1 Unique this day because I got such an insane amount of Tier 2s. You can see in the background here just the insane amount of Uniques dropping. We were doing the Unique recipe, which was... Well, I experimented with a few, but... It would basically uh, be Brian King, Shikari, Free and Horde, and then Aberath. And um, there were some other combos too. It depends if you wanted more high tier uniques or just more uniques, right? So if you need some common ones, but they're just hard to get on SSF, you could do Free and Horde first and then Shikari touched. And that would like convert every reward to uniques. It was really interesting that way to, to have that amount of agency. There, there were some things I didn't like. Trying to phrase this in a good way because I both like it and dislike it, but just the sheer amount of scarabs dropping, which I like and don't like because I like the amount of scarabs we have, but I don't like the amount of scarabs we have to pick up. And obviously that's not something you can remove from your filter, right? You're going to want to pick up every single scarabs. But what I really didn't like was the fact that we multiple times per map had to leave the map. That was without juicing a lot. That's normally not something we have to deal with on Solo Cell Found. I would, I would honestly prefer Scarabs being turned into some sort of juice that just went straight into your map device. Obviously, that would make it untradeable. So there's no solution here where everybody's happy. Probably a lot of people just want them to leave it uh, so that we have an insane amount of Scarabs and stuff like that. I think it was a little too OP, but um, we'll see what they do. They added new bosses this day. There were four new bosses. And there was a race for them. I think the race was very badly made in a way. Because there were tutorial bosses and actual bosses. So the first time you kill the new bosses, you fight a tutorial version. Like a green invitation that cannot be rolled. And it has virtually no life at all. And uh, you can still die particularly to the, the smaller versions. Uh, the Black Star and Shrek. You can still die to those. Uh, in particular, because they are quite hard, even though you can burst them down. And obviously that becomes the correct solution because their mechanics are quite deadly. Uh, when going in blind, that's actually, I died to that, the Frozen Avalanche. They also have proper versions that even without being rolled, have like two or three times more life. 
that make them a lot more of a challenge. And I thought it was really weird how the race was for the tutorial versions that you basically just clap as long as you like have some rough idea of what the boss is doing. And most people are going to see people killing them on softcore before fighting them on hardcore. So it was a, it was a bit silly, I thought, um, that it was for the tutorial versions. I do like that they have tutorial versions. People can get their voids done very easily. And then, you know, the fight becomes an actual fight after that. But at least you can unlock so you have uh, the void stone. So I think that's in a really good place. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was that the race was for the tutorial version. I didn't think that made sense. But uh, that being said, very, very cool that they added new bosses. I think the Black Star, probably my favorite fight out of all of them. Kind of insane that that is the hardest fight. The Shrek fight is awful. I think it's the worst designed fight I've ever seen in a video game. I, I honestly, I would love to just see it removed. I also thought it was very strange how they have insanely rare drops like Black Zenith that don't really have a purpose. They uh, almost had a purpose when we found out a way that was unintended to use them with Winter Orb. And as soon as we started playing with that, they said, no, this is unintended and we're nerfing it mid league. Which I felt was very unnecessary because it wasn't a game breaking thing and it was on an insanely rare item. But I think there was only like 13 listed on Hardcore Arch, Arch Nemesis at the time. Um, so obviously they spiked in value massively when people found out they were usable. And then as soon as they announced the nerf, they went back down to one chaos and were not really used for the rest of the league. Which meant that the Shrek boss was just something people skipped. There was no reason to kill it. Which personally, I, I think is a huge disappointment. I think it was a massively bad choice on their part. Okay, the blue big boss... Uh, it's far too easy of a fight. I don't think there's anything pinnacle about it. Even the Shrek fight is harder, even though it is a lot more annoying with the swamp. There's not really anything that can kill you there, to be honest. Uh, I think the Searing x is probably pretty perfect. Could maybe do with one more move. Uh, but both of these are fairly easy fights. I know a lot of people have uh, said, oh, we're most likely getting uber versions of these bosses in 3.18, which I think is some serious copium. I think... This is, this is it. I don't think we're getting uber versions of these bosses. I'd be very surprised. I would love to get that though. Obviously the, the loot is insane. I will make like a things that went buffed and things that went nerfed video. But uh, the amulets in particular, I don't want them buffed or nerfed. I think it's inevitable. I think we are getting some sort of nerf to both the amulets. I would love to see a rarity change. That's it. They're obviously too powerful right now because they're not that far off items like Headhunter and Mage Blood and Power. Um, and they're incredibly common. As far as like the getting to the bosses, that takes way too long. Uh, even when you're doing the boss rush strategy, which is like rushing adjacent maps, it's just insanely long. I would think it should be like 30% less to, to get to those bosses. That being said, the Atlas in general adds so much to the gameplay and everything. It's just oh, the best thing they've ever done. Having an Atlas tree, Chef's Kiss. Just so good. I respected an insane amount. I think I used like 400, 500 regrets on Soul Cell Fun. I can't wait till we get Atlas Cluster Jewels. It'll be interesting to see where they take it from here. Obviously, we are waiting for Ultimatum League, so they're probably going to have to add Ultimatum loads. There will probably be some nerfs and buffs. I'm hoping particularly they don't nerf Essence. Something I could see them changing would be the adjacent map strategy, where if you don't know, you could get 70% chance for adjacent map to drop an adjacent map. Um, and you have 30% by default. So as long as you kill a map boss, you're always getting a map back. So you could just chain between two maps and you're generating infinite maps. And I could see them nerfing that. However, I do think it's okay because it is quite a large investment in terms of um, the amount of points needed. First builds and stuff this league. Uh, I played Explosive Arrows, my starter. I started with Hierophant. It wasn't as good as i'd hoped it was great obviously steel mage finished second or third on all the boss skills so it obviously was insanely strong um and he came online faster than champion but champion was so much tankier and i really really enjoyed that and that's obviously good for me when i want to stare at chat instead of looking at the game so really really big fan of the champion explosive arrow bex has said that there's no manifesto coming i don't know if that means that they're not going to be nerfing a lot which means Explosive Arrow Champion would most likely be my league starter next thing just to get started, build an economy. Um, and then obviously I had the most fun with playing an Omniscience Lightning Striker. Lightning Strike was just such a blast to play. 
and uh yeah really looking forward to seeing what kind of things are gonna change next week are we gonna get new skills what's the league gonna be like but either way very happy with arch nemesis counting everything like the league and the expansion itself honestly i think i gotta give it a 9 out of 10 i think the only league I, I actually think i like it more than synthesis now at the end and i obviously i would say at the start of every league first two weeks is always incredibly exciting to me it's very easy to be excited at a launch right everything's new and exciting but um I think it's now at the end you really know which league you really liked or not. Um, I'd say the only league that's ever existed before this that would have had the potential to beat Arch Nemesis was Scourge if they had Frangling be actually rewarding. Arch Nemesis, a 9 out of 10, the highest rated since Synthesis. This is the only league I've really enjoyed since then. Thanks for watching. Gonna be loads of content coming up for Path of Exile, like reviews and thoughts and soon at Wee university so thanks for watching sub if you liked the video but more importantly try to die less than i do